Where have I been? What have I been doing? Well, I had to get back into Apex. And getting back into Apex has been very strenuous and very, um, however you say in English, the opposite of fun. I know I made a whole lot of videos in my time shitting on Apex, but this is, um, this time it's actually different. So, without any further ado, let me explain how, to a fault, Respawn has managed to shit on their own creation. For starters, every single time that there's an update, you can expect the Respawn developers to anticipate that one out of four of the consoles at least is going to have some major type of issue with the update with that being said why the fuck are you releasing the update when you know it's gonna break one fourth of the player base on top of continuing to break the the game literally the game the servers and just the system that runs the game, the engine, you you have to just acknowledge that they keep moving forward without having had solved the problem. If I was making a railroad track, and I realized that I had left out certain parts on the tracks. When it, it's not Minecraft, I'm literally, I'm going to go back and fix the parts that are broken. But no, Respawn, they, they don't care if the train gets derailed. They literally do not care. And so they push forward and make to make sure that the project gets done. But in reality, they're giving us a fucking riggedy train that if you get on, it's bound to you're bound to die your your train's getting derailed the amount of patches and fixes that they've released this season alone trying to fix the game this is low key as bad as the worst seasons and or worse than the worst seasons because at the bare minimum there's been 3 patches already and none of them worked now Moving on to the to the next part, this is more just talking about how stupid Respawn is and how counterintuitive they are. Now, we've all had our fair share of good ranked matches, but even more so, we've all had our fair share of absolute dog shit ranked matches. For example, top five, both teammates dead 2000 damage no kills top 5 plus 15 rp you you just spent fucking 22 minutes in a match did 2000 damage and you came out with a fucking plus 15 rp now i don't know about you guys but that type of ranked game makes me mad I would have rather just died off fucking rip. I'm sorry. Beyond my personal experience, what's with losing 430 RP? Why is it that the rank system can't be a solid in between? If you know what I'm talking about, then good. But if you don't, let me explain. The rank system in Apex Legends has changed so much. It's always been catered towards casuals and then the pros say something and then they cater towards pros and then they cater towards casuals. Like literally, I'm pretty sure every two seasons has like its own version of ranked. And the worst part about it is that they don't find a happy median. It's like they take it from one extreme to the next extreme. There's absolutely no happy median. You see, 
The last ring system was so that you could, was basically for casuals so that they could solo queue. They could get KP, just uh, stack up KP to the max and, and move forward. They didn't have to worry about much, but now it's catered the complete opposite. And you're likely only going to finish the game with low KP and they want you to prioritize placement. I really hate Apex Legends, but Apex Legends ranked is way worse. And then on the community's behalf, because not everything can just be Respawn's fault, we hold ranked in way too high of a regard. Like, right now, there's literally less than 750 Predators across all platforms. There's less than 600. Yesterday, there were only 29 Predators on Xbox. There's literally, like, fucking 7 Predators on Switch, or, like, 5. It's so ridiculous. Literally, the fact that Ranked is so fucked is making it even worse. Because the pubs now are completely broken. My pubs are literally like ranked matches. I literally have to play them like ranked matches because I'm running into three stacks of masters and three stacks of diamond and preds because they feel as if they need to stack in pubs now. Now, like I was saying, it's partially the community's fault because we hold ranked in such a high regard that the developers prioritize it like how they are. Imagine a world in which we understood that ranked was not a good show of skill. Like, imagine a world where the average person wasn't unintelligent. Most people will tell you that ranked defines skill and ranked is a... Uh, arena for the best of the best players most people would say that simply because the system of gaining kp and gaining rp but to me it's ridiculous and you need to look at more factors than just the system in which ranked operates around to determine skill if ranked determined skill then anyone who can just pick up two teammates and play with them for seven hours is, is a good player. It's ridiculous to believe that ranked is a good showcase of skill because literally you're team fighting, you're not prioritizing fighting. It's like, what? How How does this remotely seem like a... Uh, a bout of skill if anything you're literally consciously camping you're consciously making the decision not to engage in fights <laughs> then, like just people take that and it's like they run with it and they say that ranked is a good place to test your skill but it's really just not now I think I've done a good enough job explaining that but Beyond that, I would just like to point out some more contradictions, direct contradictions in the Respawn development team um, that are kind of halting Apex moving forward. You see, every season they add a new character. That's cool. Okay. Every season you add a new character. But whilst adding a new character, they're always simultaneously doing some bullshit to the map, like destroying the map acting as if those are those are quality map changes it's like destroy build destroy except they only destroy they never build they just destroy take king's canyon for example how is it a map change to just completely remove a large percentage of the fucking map especially the most popular place that people were going like, there's no doubt Skulltown was the most popular place. And I understand that they were, they did it intentionally. But, like, after seeing how stupid, like, 
and then not even replacing it with anything. They did not replace Skull Town with anything. And don't tell me that that little location by market is is what replaced it because that's literally like one, two, three, five buildings. It's actually five fucking buildings. With map changes, you have to just take them with a grain of salt. With all of this being said, I beg the question, who's better, me or Asu? I'm pretty sure I'm better than Asu. I mean, one, he's avoiding 1v1ing me for about a year and a half now, without a doubt. Like, before, okay, maybe he just didn't notice, but now he's definitely noticed. He's doing what Otter did, just a denying, denying, denying. Um, If you want to know more about that... Watch the video that says something about, like, this content creator rejected my 1v1 request. Something along those lines. I got screenshots of the conversation where Otter straight up rejects my 1v1 request and also lies to me because he is a fool. Peace out. Leave a like and subscribe. Please support my VTube channel. The end.